Here we are inside of another clay sewer line. Uh, pay attention to the bottom, the joints where the pipes meet. You can see slight separations and the sewage not flowing as it should be. Uh, as we continue down the pipe, you'll see a little bit of sitting water, which is most likely due to uh, belly, really the pipe's just running flat. There's not enough pitch on the pipe. And as we continue, you'll start to see a section of PVC pipe, which is not good for a number of reasons, but primarily here in New York City, it is completely illegal to have PVC pipe within your sewer line. As we continue, you'll see the pipe now transitions to cast iron, which is good. We continue down the sewer line towards the city sewer, and we start to see some sitting water. As we get closer, you'll see there is a definite problem here. Um, you'll see the roots coming through the top of the pipe with a bunch of paper towel or toilet tissue, which is stuck in the roots. And the camera is underwater. Um, we'll continue to push through this point with the camera a little bit, see if we gain any traction or can move beyond the section of broken pipe. Um, but we definitely know there's a problem here. Our snake could not get past this point. And as you can see, the camera is only picking up on sitting water. With a scenario like this, there's really only one option. You know, we attempted to get beyond this section of the sewer line with the snake for a couple hours. Uh, no success and then the second stage within the process is what we're doing now the video inspection just to see if there's an actual problem and confirm what our thoughts were from the snaking of the sewer line this section of the sewer pipe at 28 27 and a half feet to 28 feet is going to have to be dug up with a backhoe and replaced with new extra heavy cast iron pipe a scenario like this you really don't have any other option the homeowner is going to have to excavate repair and entertain the idea of replacing the entire sewer line in its entirety just due to the problems that we picked up on earlier within the pipe, the separated joints, the PVC pipe. Uh, it's always suggested to obviously replace everything at once if you're not factoring the cost into the project. Different homeowners are in different scenarios and we all have to weigh different things. So quick summary, definitely going to have to replace this section of piping and it's going to be discussed replacing the entire sewer line with the homeowner will assist them with weighing the pros and cons of replacing the whole thing versus a repair and the cost associated with each option. Make sure to like and subscribe to catch all our videos in the future.